what is your line in the sand and what are you doing to stop the tyrants from crossing that line in the sand? Or are you just saying, I got guns and ammo and I'm waiting for the blue helmets? It's not going to be blue helmets until after the Civil War. Then it will be blue helmets. Read the Rand Corporation National Stability Police Force Plan. This is the plan to destabilize things so bad we beg for total federalization and beg for total surveillance. And now it's here. The general public's being targeted. If you're a cop, you're being targeted. If you're a school teacher, you're being targeted. I don't care who you are. This new world order is bad for you and your family. And if you want to make a decision for the next 10, 20, 30 years to shell out to it, to just kind of go along with it, to let them social engineer you, and to live high on the hog while you sell everybody out ahead of the population being forcibly reduced, humans merging with machines, this is what the elites say they're going to do, and they're doing it. If you think you're going to be successful with that game plan with your soul and your family name and just common sense, you're crazy. Maybe you're totally nihilistic and don't care, don't plan to have, to have children, don't care about your kids. Why sell out to the dark side? Why sell out to what's easy? Why sell out to, to, to not believing in humanity? Why sell out? your children, your sons, your daughters. Now, so many people in the system rationalize what they're doing and they're compartmentalized and they do bad things, but they believe it's because the end justifies the means. That very Machiavellian precept is the essence of societal degeneration and dishonor. Societies based on honor and chivalry and quality and truthfulness and steadfastness create incredible inventions, incredible art, beauty, science, long life. But the byproduct is spoiled children, corrupt grandchildren, demonic, satanic great-grandchildren. And we are those children today, children of the beast. Children of the lie, on average. And it's my job to try to get people to get outside the box, to pull back, see the big picture, look at what I'm claiming, look at what I'm saying, look at the viruses they're rolling out in the vaccines for social engineering, look at the dropping IQs, and, and, and to get people to understand you're living in a real-world attempt to set up a dystopic technological technocracy that is designed to capture, harness, mutate, and finally destroy humanity. It is 100% pure, unadulterated death and destruction. You wonder why serial killers like to grab little kids and torture them for months. Things that are just the most horrible, dark energy anyone could imagine. And, and, and it's so alien, people hear about it and they just turn away. Imagine that times a billion. Imagine that energy manifests through robot armies and Skynet technology. It is going to take its time bringing us down and making us beg to be destroyed and enslaved because the true bottom of the rat hole, the true bottom of Satan's pit is that the system wants us with free will, though drugged and dazed, to stumble and worship the evil as if it's the solution and it's the idol and to fall to our knees and embrace it before our free will is sucked out of us and our souls basically demagnetized to goodness. Our souls wiped and turned 
to that satanic energy. That's where we're going. Just as sure as the sun came up this morning on this planet. On this planet. Remember that. There's a whole universe around us, but the system wants us to think it's only what's on that television set, only what's on the nightly news, what the talking head says. When we know these talking heads work for institutions that have made the decision that you're not even conscious and that you're an animal and that you don't have a right to any freedom or any future. And so they're going to dumb you down and give you false maps of the world so that you become a joke and a failure. So you'll time and time again come to them for empowerment. No one can deny that the welfare state, the way it's done by the West, is meant to enslave, just as the welfare state and the company store and sharecropping or the reservation with Native Americans or the plantation is designed to have you totally dependent on the master. But this master doesn't want you to pull a plow or to cut the wheat or to tend the cattle. This master wants you in agonizing anguish and pain, gibbering after its flame like a moth, believing that oblivion in evil is your empowerment. When the answer to all our problems is waiting right there. But we have to, with free will, take it and make the spiritual decision first that I want to be good, I want to be enlightened, I want to be informed, I want to know how the world really works. I ask the creator of the universe in these incredible odds we're up against to give me the providence to have the prescience or what the Bible calls discernment so that I might survive to bring aid to others. And the world knows, the devil knows, that you have a good heart. So you will be falsely convicted by the angel of light that masquerades as an angel, by the culture, to tell you how you're bad and how you're guilty and how your little sins make you imperfect and make you bad so you couldn't dare go speak at the front of the church. You couldn't dare call into talk radio. You couldn't dare start a radio show. You couldn't dare try to help somebody else or tell somebody when they're doing something destructive because after all, you're not perfect. See how that works? How they guilt everyone. Oh, you're racist, except Obamacare. Oh, maybe your forebearers had slaves. Maybe. Why, 2% of the country had slaves. You're bad. You have to have guilt. Not to go help other people that are less advantaged and actually help them yourself. That's how you really help somebody. By bringing them into your society and teaching them and lifting them up. Rising tide raises the ships. All ships, as Kennedy rightfully said. No, no, no. You do what Al Gore says, what Bill Clinton says, what Rachel Maddow says, what Barack Obama says, what Al Sharpton says, what Jesse Jackson says. And when you do what they say, now you've been forgiven by the high priests. You've come and made sacrifice to them. You've not owned guns. You've accepted higher taxes. You've gotten in line with the party line to feel like you belong. And so you've been sanctified in your little collectivist progressive cult. That's not even a real progressive cult. It's a eugenic, scientifically written, planned, neoliberal, anti-human, super fascistic, mind-controlled cornucopia of anti-human venom. Then you got the Republicans run by the very same special interest trying to dance on our political Graves, trying to make sure that no opposition can form through the Americana movement of true free market populism. 
constitutional ideas, common sense that people are desperate for. Like a diver whose air has run out racing to the top is desperate for the surface or a fish out of water is desperate for the sea. It's there and the whole system is designed to turn it around and act like people that want basic freedom are weirdos, are dangerous, are bad. The people that get upset and say, I'm not a slave, are weird and aggressive. Show me one mammal that you're trying to enslave or drag off that won't fight. But we're trained to go along with it. But see, I'm not going to fight mindlessly just burning things down. I'm not going to fight shooting up a police station. I'm going to fight by warning people and showing them what's happening and doing what the enemy wants I am not going to sit there and play.